What up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah. And we're going over the age of Apocalypse, the Outlaw's Cut. And this time we're with X-Men Chronicles. Yes. This is a world where Apocalypse rules the United States. Xavier never existed, and Magneto leads the X-Men in the war against Apocalypse. And this, he's staring down Wolverine, who has lost his hand, freeing Jean Grey from the sinister slave pits. And Magneto and the team had left her there, but they had no choice. As Wolverine stares him down, ready to kill him, as the other X-Men gather around. But it will not be necessary. Jean stays his hand, telling them that she needs him and that it is time to go. As Wolverine backs off, they leave the team. Magneto's team as they fly away to their own adventures. This hurts Magneto deeply for they have been with the team since the beginning and in war you have to make tough decisions and leaving her behind was one of the toughest decisions he ever had to make. But Jean looks back and knows and tells Magneto she knows what he did and that she forgives him but Wolverine needs her more than they need the team. As they leave Magneto is struck with this terrible sadness as a man known as Nemesis whose body was destroyed by Magneto and is forced to wear this suit summons someone, someone deadly, the Wolverine. Yes, this warrior hunts and tracks mutants and is able to give humans a terrible rage and power as they crush another village, slaughtering the masses at will. He calls him to do his bidding, to do him a favor, to kill what Magneto loves the most, for Magneto must suffer. So he tells him to find what he loves, who he loves, and kill them, and let Magneto watch. Let him suffer in ways unimaginable before they kill him. Meanwhile, the X-Men are on another mission to help out humanity. They do raids, they do different stuff in order to undermine Apocalypse. And now they are on a mission again to help humanity wherever they can, to free them from prison camps, to free political prisoners, basically anything to undermine Apocalypse's rule as they go off onto another mission. But Magneto seems distracted as these mutants are taking what they can from the population for that is the way now of survival of the fittest. And the X-Men have shown up to stop these hoods from taking what little these people have left. <clears throat> As the X-Men rain down upon them, these guys are good, but the X-Men are better, well-trained, better soldiers. These are the dregs of apocalypse, the dregs of society, and the X-Men easily dispatch them. But Magneto flies out into the front trying to make up for the loss of power. He's distracted. He seems lost. His ego is bruised from losing Jean and Logan. It hurts him in different ways that he can't express. Wolverine, taking advantage of this situation, powers two thugs up and tells him to fight, to show Magneto's weakness, to show what he fears losing the most. As these super-powered humans jump out, Attacking Magneto, attacking Gambit as he dispatches one of them. But one of them pulls a knife, hits Magneto right in the back, for it's not made of metal, and slices Magneto through. Wolverine finds this interesting as Gambit helps him out. So Quicksilver may not be the target after all. Maybe this Gambit, maybe this rogue, whoever it is, he will kill them in front of Magneto. As they patch Magneto up in the infirmary, Magneto explains that Gambit shouldn't have called the retreat, but Quicksilver points out even though his decision was brash, he did save Magneto's life, and they do live to fight another day. As Gambit and Magneto have their moment, they make up a little bit. Gambit also hits on Rogue, says that he has something important to tell her. But Rogue has other things to do. She is Magneto's second in command and has to go over the weekly reports as Gambit and Iceman leave the room. The Wolverine getting his army together. Someone dares questions his authority and he slices them in half. He gathers these other thugs together, saying they're going to hunt down the traitor Magneto. 
They're going to find him and he is going to kill what he loves the most. As Gambia and Iceman have a talk. And Iceman is basically saying that Casanova is giving it up. He's settling on one woman. And of course, Gambit, playing along with it, is saying yes, yes. But he loves Rogue. He wants to be with her. And Iceman lightens the situation by tossing a few snowballs his way. But Gambit plans on proposing to Rogue, leaving with her, leaving this life behind and seeing if they can find something for themselves. That's Gambit's dream anyways. But the reality of the situation is, is that Rogue and Magneto are close. More than second in command. She feels the tension between them. And she says that she will never leave him. Even though Magneto feels the weight of the war, the weight of the killings. She tells him the X-Men are necessary and that she'll always be by his side. And Rogue, realizing this, realizes that she has something that she needs to take care of. She cannot leave Magneto. Meanwhile, the Wolverine and his army are tracking and he says, stop. He senses them. The time is at hand to kill, to find the traitors and to rip them apart. Meanwhile, Quicksilver's doing a bit of speed reading Rogue shows up and uh, talks to him. They're good friends at this point, and she needs a little advice. She asks Quicksilver about Wanda, and if he still misses her, and he says, yes, he misses her every day. She was a lovely person. She showed love to whoever she came across, and he was happy that Rogue was with her at the last moments of her life when Nemesis killed her. And Rogue asked him, is it all right that she is second in command? Quicksilver quickly points out the team is expanding and they're going to need more than one leader. And that he's grateful for her and what she does for her father more than she realizes at this point. As Gambit appears out of nowhere trying to be romantic, he asks as Rogue walks away where Magneto is. And Magneto is training the other X-Men as Gambit surprises him out of nowhere. Magneto quickly swats him away, saying that they're training. Losing his temper slightly with Gambit. Gambit has always been impulsive. As these Wolverine's men appear in the shadows, and speaking of impulsive, one of them jumps out and tries to kill. Give in to the bloodlust, and Wolverine snaps his neck, telling the others to wait. As the training is over, Gambit kind of explains that he's going to go with Rogue, that he wants to have his shot with her. And is there anything that Eric has done about expanding his force field in order to learn how to touch or have Rogue touch someone? Gambit wants to move up forward with his life, but Rogue interrupts. Gambit, of course, kisses her hand and leaves her with Magneto. And Magneto and Rogue look at each other. Magneto has something to tell her, something to show her. Using the magnetics in his body and the magnetics in hers, and she absorbed Polaris' power, he's able to generate a field where it makes it possible for them to touch. This is basically progress that he's made so far for the first time in her life Rogue is able to touch someone as she cries Magneto wiping the tears from her eyes Gambit seeing this in the trees jealous angry thinking that Eric is taking her for himself he jumps out of nowhere saying that uh, Magneto's a traitor and that he'll kill him and he yells at Rogue and he slaps him he deserves it after all she never chose him, but now the choice seems obvious as Wolverine is watching in the background. And the fight sets off. Wolverine sets his army off to attack the complex as Gambit hangs back, telling Rogue that she's going to have to choose. Sooner or later, it's going to be him or Magnus. As the fight goes through, the X-Men are ripping these guys apart. They have enhanced strength, but they're not super people. They're just in a frenzy. The X-Men deal with these people real quick, wondering why they showed up to their doorstep as the Wolverine comes out of nowhere and slashes Magneto down. That's when Gambit appears and tries to stop him. His rogue is holding Magneto in her arms, but this creature is too strong, too powerful, too vicious. As he backhands Gambit, Rogue tries to get a shot in, and so does Magneto, but this creature will not be stopped. He knows what he must do, and he must kill the person that Magneto loves the most, just so he could see him suffer. And he decides that it's Rogue. 
Gambit tries to intervene. Holy Magneto up, Rogue makes a choice and saves Magneto instead of Gambit. Wolverine slicing down the wall, bringing it down around Gambit as he's heartbroken. The rest of the X-Men join in the fight and it is a good fight, but it's not enough. The Wolverine stands victorious. Now knowing who he must kill, it is Rogue and Magneto will suffer for it. But Gambit comes out of nowhere with something charged in his hand, he shoves it in the Wolverine's belt. It is a big rock charged with energy, and with Gambit's powers, it explodes. And when it explodes, the explosion sends the Wolverine far, far away. Gambit, heartbroken, knowing that she's made her choice, knowing that she chose Magneto, he must run off on his own and form his own team. But what will that team be? Well, we'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.